The Bassmaster Leech just ended right behind me at the Harris Chain, and we're gonna look at a few things. We're gonna look at the top 10 anglers. We're gonna look at where the AOI standings for the top 10 anglers are, and who's in that weird place. And then we're gonna look at some pros and cons of this last tournament on the Harris Chain. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. I really do appreciate it. Well, the Bassmaster Elites came to the Harris Chain, and they came at the right time. There wasn't really any pre-spawn fishing or spawning fishing. I know they said that, but really 99% of the fish were post-spawn fish. They had some seriously horrible weather for Thursday and they postponed the tournament one extra day, leading them to a final on Monday morning. And they really needed to, it was a really good decision to postpone Thursday because the weather was horrible. And that weather completely changed the fishing. It was almost an old school fishery for most of the tournament because we had such bad weather. It stirred up like a popka and all the other places and it made forward-facing sonar a little more challenging for most of the anglers to start off. But that doesn't mean forward-facing sonar didn't play a, a big part of the tournament for some anglers. But it was a flipping and punching and old-school crankbait and jerkbaits and fishing shallow kind of tournament. I think it was a tournament that fans needed to see. It wasn't a just, just beat them up tournament. It was more a finesse using that, that Cinco, using that worm, using those old-school techniques that we all love to use and that we use instead of going out there and scoping or live scoping for bass. And John Garrett won wire to wire. And congratulations to him. He, it was his first win. I believe he is a rookie. He won it wire to wire. And it was fun to watch his emotion come out on Monday. You could tell it meant something to him. I think that's one of the things that's missing in Major League Fishing and the Bass Pro Tour. I don't think there's the emotion that comes with those guys who win. And maybe those guys at, on BPT are a little bit more successful and are a little more veteran and than what is at the elites. But these guys coming in and showing their emotion and how happy they are and seeing their family on stage, it's really, it's it's nice to see, to be honest. It's enjoyable to not only see the fish that they're catching across the stage, but it's really important. And I think it drives more people to bass because there is that emotion there. There's that drama. And it was nice to see John finish first and congratulations to him. And I have to read it. Second place went to JT Tompkins. Third was KJ Queen, Tyler Williams, Jordan Lee, Trey McKinney, Joseph Web Webster, Ed Lochran. I don't know how to say his last name. I apologize. Jason Christie and Brad Watley finished in the top 10. And again, while there wasn't a lot of scoping happening, there was scoping happening. As Sunday and Monday started, there were guys out there scoping giant fish. Some of them were caught others weren't. If you did, if you missed the Trey McKinney bass with the jerk bait lodged in his mouth and as he kind of went to boat flip it, it was a, it was a giant fish. And as he went to flip it, it still didn't have the hooks in the mouth. It just was wedged and it came unwedged. It was, it was crazy to see. It was, I turned on bass just as that happened. And I thought, oh wow, that's crazy. And Trey is a really, really amazing angler. But like I said, most of the first couple few days, they were all fishing shallow. They were flipping, pitching, punching, doing all the good things. And then, and as the tournament went on, it came, became a scoper's paradise almost. Not all of them were scoping, but a majority of them were. And I think, like I might have said, I think we needed this kind of tournament. I think we'll see that next week on the St. John's. I think the weather's going to be great for the St. John's fishing up there in Palatka. And I think it'll be another tournament where we see some of the old school guys, the veterans, do really well before they start getting into those areas where technology is really going to play a big part of how they fish and where they fish. In terms of the Angler of the Year points, the Angler of the Year points is really weird after three. It's really weird. If you look at who's in the top 10, and the top 10 consists of Trey McKinney, Tyler Williams, Jordan Lee, Justin Hamner, JT Hopkins, Kyle Patrick, Chris Johnson, Patrick Walters, Stetson Blaylock, and Corey Johnson. Majority of those guys are all live scopers or scopers and the youth is really shown themselves right now. Veterans are really getting punished right now in Angler Leader Points, and I mean that. These are the surprises for me right now, and by that I mean in 101st place is John Cruz, in 100 is Matt Robertson, in 95th 
is Gerald Swindle. 84th is Scott Martin. 71st is Brandon Palahniuk. 63rd is Mike Iaconelli. And then 58th is Kyle Welcher, the current AOI winner from last year. Now I have to say there's a lot of fishing left. There's a lot of fishing left, but getting in a hole this early in the season really means you have to dig yourself out. I don't know how Swindle, Robertson, and Cruz are going to finish and make the Classic for next year. And luckily Scott Martin qualified for the Classic already because he's really not on pace to get into it either. Palinic one really confuses me because Brandon is a good scoper and just a flat out great fisherman. I think the surprise in the top 10 is Jordan Lee comes from the Bass Pro Tour and now he's three weeks in or three tournaments in he's in the top five. It shows the quality of anglers that are over in BPT but I do think it's right that he came back to Bassmasters. I like seeing him there and he probably there's a pretty good chance he'll probably win Angler of the Year and that's you got to give it up to him. And like I say Palak is going to be a great tournament this week. I think the weather's going to be great. I think yeah, we're not going to see as much scoping. I think yeah, they're going to have to fish shallow. I think we'll see the worm come out a little bit more, maybe the chatterbait, things like that. It's going to be another great week. And being back to back, I think some of these guys like John and who made the final 10, they have a real, they're going to be really tired coming into this week, especially John. He's just went from winning, having to do everything you have to do that last day to now turning around overnight and starting to practice today on Tuesday. But it'll be fun to watch Palaka and I like these back-to-back -back weekends. So what are some of the pros and cons to the elites at Harris Chain? I think the pros were the motion you got to see with some of these anglers. I will still enjoy watching guys put fish across the stage, and we saw some big fish. I think my only con would be is I heard several times that they thought that the fish were post-spawn, and they weren't. They weren't close to that. They had spawned ages ago, or probably 99% of them had spawned ages ago. So I didn't like that. But overall, I have to say, I think Bassmasters and Elite on Harris Chain was unbelievably successful. I really don't have any cons this time. I thought everything looked good and sounded good, and it was refreshing to see a, just an old school tournament, and I think that's what we needed again. But you guys tell me in the comments below. Comment below and tell me what you think. Did you watch Major League Fishing or did you watch the Elites? That's what I really want to know. Which one was, which one is more important to you? And don't say, well, I don't like Major League Fishing because I don't like Boyd. That isn't the case. Which one are you watching because you want to see what's going on? Harris Chain, or did you watch Dale Hollow? So thanks again for hitting that like and subscribe button. Make sure you comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. Yes, I'm rushing because I want to get this done. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.